So the big, sexy move that we were all waiting for just happened. Uh, let's talk about it. You know what I'm talking about, too. If you don't, I was just on NFE's live stream and strike zone with Jonathan and NFE. And the, the news broke that the Yankees traded left-handed reliever Matt Crook to the Baltimore Orioles for cash considerations. Yes. Yes. Have a seat, people. Let's calm down. Let's breathe. In, out. <laughs> um, yeah, they, uh, they DFA'd Baltimore Diego Castillo, who's kind of been around the Yankee circle the last couple weeks as well. They DFA'd him to make room on the roster for the 40-man for Matt Crook. And Matt Crook was also DFA'd by the Yankees when they brought in Jordan Groshans last week on waivers, uh, off of waivers as well. So a guy that was a highly touted you know, prospect here for the Yankees who just didn't really put it together at the major league level in a small sample size is moving on to the Orioles. And the question now is, does this mean that they're trying to you know clear up enough money and payroll for somebody like a Blake Snell? If you haven't seen my video this morning, the Bob Nightingale reported that the Yankees are talking to Blake Snell again because they're offering they're wanting to offer a short shorter term deal with a higher AAV, from like about thirty five million per, but on a short term deal, maybe two or three years. So, as opposed to the monster counter that they gave the Yankees the first time that they've made an offer of a five year deal back in the day. So, and according to what we're hearing right now. The Yankees are not the only – they're not only the only team that made Snell an offer. They've already made him an offer. This would be his their second offer to him, and still nobody else has put forth an offer as far as we know. So could this be something else? I mean, the, the, the top six Scott Boris clients, Matt Chapman, Cody Bellinger, Blake Snell, Jordan Montgomery, J.D. Martinez, and Hyunjin Rio, they're all not signed, okay? And again, I'll say this again. The longer the pitchers wait, the worse off the situation is for them because they're either going to have to choose between an abbreviated spring, which could increase the chance of injury if they go right into the season, or a longer spring that goes into the season and they're paying for less of a season. So either situation is not ideal. So if this happens, whether it's Snell, whether it's Montgomery, that there's been chatter about Montgomery too, these guys got to sign sooner than later. So when this happens, make sure that you sit to hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet. If you enjoy the content, hit the like button too because I will make sure that you'll get the news when it comes out, especially if Blake Snell <clears throat> comes to the Yankees. So, and let me know what your thoughts would be, okay? Um, you know, would you be happy if Snell came to the Yankees? I mean, some other folks are saying we should get Trevor Bauer. The problem with Trevor Bauer is that he's, there's still some active accuser discussions or investigations happening. So, um, and there's some other guys out there like Julio Urias. He's 27 year old lefty. He would have probably make more than Blake Snell, but he's having his second domestic violence arrest investigated by the Los Angeles DA's office. So that's, you know, a problem for him. He might not ever pitch again. This is a young 27 year old dynamic fireballing pitcher from the Dodgers. You know, may never pitch again now. So it's just unfortunate, but there's no baggage associated with Snell. There's no baggage associated with Montgomery. But now that we're hearing this, does this little move, this trade to, of Matt Crook to the Orioles, pave the way to make a little bit more room for somebody like Blake Snell, somebody like Jordan Montgomery? That still remains to be seen. But I want to know what your thoughts are. So let's get into it. Anything else comes out, you'll get it. Talk to you later.